I am Marilyn Ezzie Ashcraft. I am an attorney by profession. I currently work part-time as an arbitrator for the Better Business Bureau in Oakland. Uh, my relevant experience is 16 years of community involvement that goes back to uh, planning and co-chairing the campaign to build a new main library, um, serving on the Alameda Hospital Board of Directors, chairing the campaign to save Alameda Hospital. I've been an Economic Development Commissioner and for the past six years I've served on the Planning Board, uh, two years as President, during which time we have um, worked to help revitalize Alameda's business districts, bring new housing opportunities, and um, I am running for City Council because I want to use my experience and my understanding of local issues to uh, make this an even better place to live. I think I'd give them a B, a B plus. They uh, came in um, two years ago with one city manager, transitioned to another. Um, I think that we've made some great strides uh, moving forward with Alameda Point, uh, getting closer. Well, we certainly have the no-cost conveyance worked out with the Navy, still have to finalize uh, the details of the transfer and there was the Sunshine Ordinance that was passed that uh, is certainly of benefit to the community and also those of us who are public officials and um, oh they've worked out the public-private partnership with the animal shelter they're tackling the city budget and uh, they've I think they've done a generally good job What would I change about Alameda? Um, I actually would like to keep Alameda the very vibrant, livable city that it already is. I would just embellish some of our uh, great points. I'm an avid bicyclist and advocate for people using other means of transportation besides their cars to get around. So I'd really like to see more of a network of bicycle paths and um, to encourage people to get out and use them. People are doing that already. Um, on the retail front, I'd like to see the um, vacancies in our South Shore Shopping Center on Webster Street and a few on Park Street filled just to bring more sales tax dollars to the city and give residents a place to shop and, and attract people from out of town to spend their dollars here. And of course, I want to change the current status of Alameda Point because it has so much potential and right now it's just kind of hovering on the um, edge of being a wasteland. I mean, there's some great things going on there, but we could do so much better. In going over the uh, the budget, the current budget for the um, this, this fiscal year, um, in, in the nice report that Lisa Goldman uh, prepared, it's clear that every city department has cut its budget. Um, one of the departments that struck me as really um, verging on underfunded is public works, and that's because it has so such an impact on our citizens because after all all of our infrastructure our sidewalks our streets our sewer lines um, even city vehicles all come within the purview of public works when you have to defer maintenance because of budget deficits then it often ends up costing the city more in the long run to replace items rather than repair them at the time of that the need is discovered and also things like emergency vehicles we don't want to have breaking down on the way to um, an emergency call. One of the areas, and Public Works is largely not funded by the general fund, one of the um, potential sources of revenue though could be MTC funds that were now available for having passed the housing element. My top donor um, to date, I, I, I've only gotten uh, contributions from individuals and um, a couple individuals have given me checks for $250. That's 250. Yeah. Did you, do you want names? <laughs> my, I will do a campaign filing soon, but uh, that, that is my top uh, dollar amount for a donation.